if you're a brand like Rackspace or, or a celebrity like Robert Scoble, <laughs> you probably uh, are on Twitter and you probably want a better way to have conversations with your customers, your fans, followers. Well, Nestivity has that and we're gonna see it right now. It's a new kind of community for Twitter. Who are you? Hi, my name is Henry Min, founder and president and chief product officer at Nestivity. Uh, I basically started my career as a designer at a Parsons School of Design. Um, joined a company called Razorfish where I started designing websites and ever since then my passion for developing new digital products and services has brought me to this point as a product manager. Very cool. Razorfish is a big ad agency I guess, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, so what brought you to, Twitter, to doing a community tool for Twitter? Um, well, I'm always thinking about new problems that should be solved. And as a Twitter user, uh, having a lot of conversations with some of the brands that I follow and the influential people that I like to follow, I always felt there was this need for a better way to have a relationship with the brands that I'm follow following. Yeah. Um, Twitter, to some degree, has become an Uber push marketing platform uh, where brands are just constantly talking at me rather than talking with me. And so I'm sure a lot of viewers uh, can relate that you've probably once sent a tweet to someone you're following that has gone unresponded to. And I wanted to create a product that could help brands easily manage their followers and respond. So uh, explain what it is, because I, I know what it is, I'm starting to use it, but it's a, it's a page. And what, what's on that page? Right, so basically in a nutshell, we allow you to take your account and turn it into a community. So what we're doing is building a community layer right on top of Twitter. So you'd come to nestivity.com, provision your own account by authorizing your handle, and by doing so, you get your followers are now aware of this new community experience uh, where they can come and tweet, send you tweets in a much more organized fashion for you to manage, uh, but more importantly, take any of the tweets that are coming in and turn them into uh, an engaging discussion so that all of your followers now have an organized place to have that conversation with you as a brand as well as with other fellow followers who are basically your community members. So it, it's a great way to ask a question of, of your fans or uh, get some interaction on a, on a page instead of just using hashtags which disappear into the ether and it's really hard for anybody to see a, a group of those, right? Right, so um, hashtags I think are a great vehicle to date as far as helping you search and filter all the conversations happening within Twitter. So we're kind of taking that model and taking it one step forward so that we're formalizing a community experience where you take a hashtag and it's amplified, right? It's this thing that lives on rather than a hashtag that you're constantly promoting will eventually run out. Now there's an evergreen community where you as the account owner or the brand can have these ongoing dialogues with your followers. So at Rackspace we have several people watching our Twitter account. Can they be all marked as an administrator of this community and can they get a little badge or something that makes them stand out in this community so people know that's an official Rackspace uh, representative and I, I, I'm sure Lady Gaga wants the same thing, Procter & Gamble wants the same thing. Do you, right. In other words, do you have some team tools? Absolutely. So we've got some admin moderator tools as community owners. Once you provision, let's say, the at Rackspace handle to be the community owner, you can have an unlimited amount of moderators sort of administering the community and representing the at Rackspace handle. So they can use their own Twitter handles, uh, sync it with at Rackspace, so they become sort of that administer. All right, before we get too much more into the weeds, because I'm really interested in this, how do you guys make money? Is this a free service? How, do you charge for it? How, how does Rackspace get signed up for Sure. It? So our business model is a freemium model. So there will be a free version for those that want to start off with a Nestivity community. And there will be um, premium features that you can buy into that will give you more powerful uh, administration moderator tools. Okay, so probably the group tools, if, you, if I want more than I'm a moderator. If you need too. more than, let's say, five moderators, you would go up into a bigger package because you have bigger enterprise needs. Yep. Um, and T take me around the page a little bit. What, what would I see at the Rackspace page if, if uh, somebody came by and visited it? Sure. So 
By setting up a nestivity community, you've immediately set up a storefront for all your inbound tweets. Now, if people want to share an experience with that Rackspace, share an idea with Rackspace, or just ask a general question, they've got the perfect entry point to submit those tweets to you. On the admin side, you have a clear, filtered, organized way of managing all those inbound tweets. So now these tweets just aren't scattered all over the place. They're in an organized, clean category. Uh, and then what makes Nestivity really powerful is that you can take any tweet from your follower and turn that into a discussion. So you basically just create, you add a title to it, a discussion, a blurb to it, add a thumbnail, and then people start commenting. But what makes our platform so unique is that the comments are now individual tweets that are organized and threaded on the page, but also living out on a Twitter sphere so that people know about your Nestivity community as well. And we're going to talk about how they go back out to Twitter. But uh, let's say I'm Lady Gaga or Coca-Cola. I want to have my brand identity all over this thing. Twitter doesn't really let you do much other than change the background and a little bit of a header, right? How much of a skinning capability do you have for Nestivity for, for the brand pages? Uh, so we've, we've built it so that you can customize as many aspects of it that you want. So logos, one of the most obvious places to start. Wallpaper, which follows sort of the best practices of Twitter. Link color, things like that. And then the rest is really just a sort of a SaaS templated model. And does it work on uh, mobile and uh, tablet as well? You know, because those screens are smaller and obviously if I'm on my iMac at home, I have a lot of place to lay out and, yeah, and definitely. Uh, have um, lots of conversations. Yeah, we've definitely designed it so that it works on desktop environments as well as mobile phones and tablet phones because obviously Twitter is a very powerful mobile application, so we wanted to make sure we took those uh, devices into account. So if somebody, if somebody clicks, uh, first of all, when I set this community up and say, hey, there's a new question over on my Nastivity community, it puts a little link in that tweet, right? Right. And so uh, if somebody comes and clicks that link and they come over to my Nastivity page, if they comment there, uh, what ha where does that comment go? Does it go to the, just the Nestivity community or does it go back out to their Twitter account? Right, so you would have set up a discussion where the comments are taking place. People leave those replies on your discussion. It's posted there, which is nice because it's threaded conversations, it's in context to the original discussion post, and it's easy to follow and read. But every reply that's posted there is also hitting the Twitter sphere with the link to drive traffic back to your community. Okay. If, if somebody uh, just posts about at Rackspace uh, without putting any link in it, does that tweet get included in this community somehow as well? Yep, you'll see that in your community um, thread. So we, we will be grabbing all of those mentions off the Twitter firehose so that they appear inside your community so that you as the at Rackspace owner have all your tweets in one place so you don't have to use multiple tools. Is there a way to moderate that so if somebody is spamming my community or posting something explicit or uh, hate speech or something, can I remove tweets or keep those, from those Absolutely. kinds of tweets from showing up in my community? Absolutely. So one tool that we've built is for, the, for you to easily remove them from your community. We can't delete it from Twitter, but we can give you the ability to remove it from appearing within your community. And what kind of speed, because when you're watching the Super Bowl and I remember uh, Madonna was on one time and I was watching uh, my search engine. There was literally 60,000 tweets a minute, mm -hmm. something crazy like that, right? Mm -hmm. And it just goes so fast you can't even possibly see it, all the tweets. Mm -hmm. Is there any way to slow that down or filter it or, or keep that kind of flow from hitting the community? Uh, that sometimes of, it gets crazy out there on Twitter. Right. Though, right? Definitely with um, topical events like Super Bowl, you're going to see an increased amount of tweets. Uh, but we've got the admin tools to help create compartments for all of those tweets so that you can create a compartment for tweets that are about people sharing experiences with you, ideas with you, or, or even just general questions. So th is there any way to filter them so I can see more signal? Because so sometimes sure. the inbound is just so fast and so furious, even a team of, right. like at Rackspace, we have eight people and Lady Gaga has some, something like that, right? right? Guy Kawasaki has, I don't know, five or, five or 10 people watching just his personal Twitter account, right? right. So, um, Sometimes the inbound just goes crazy because you're on Oprah or something. Yeah. Right. So another tool we're building for admins is for you to customize what you want to pull from the Twitter stream. So you can look for strictly just at Rackspace mentions, certain keywords that Rackspace is interested. Um, so that really helps fine tune what you want to take out and appear in, inside your community as well. Very cool. 
How, how do you see uh, companies using this? Give me some of the examples that you've seen people already using Nestivity sure. for. Well, one of the things I've read um, through my experience is that 70% of the tweets that people tweet at brands go unresponded to. I think brands who really want to engage with their followers will now have an easy tool to make that happen. Uh, so that they don't have to feel like they have to keep up with their Twitter stream and read every single tweet that comes in and feel that anxiety to respond to every single tweet. Now you can take these tweets and have robust community conversations around them to create that brand relationship with your followers. Um, I think that's one avenue. Uh, I think it could help brands that are seeking to just have general customer service, uh, brands that are seeking sort of co-creation innovation opportunities with their members. Uh, or brands that just want to have general Q&A and, and just general chat to have that conversation. Uh, do you have any examples of brands that are doing this already with Nestivity? Or? We're currently just starting to um, roll out. We just launched our beta interest list at nestivity.com. Our full-scale public release will be sometime around South by Southwest. Oh, okay, so coming out in, in March. Um, part of my brand is I'm a curator, so I read tens of thousands of people and I pick nice tweets to send to my followers. Is there a way to do that inside Nestivity and bring, you know, like if TechCrunch writes a great tweet or ReadWriteWeb writes a great tweet or GigaOM writes a good tweet, bring that into my community and start a conversation inside my community? Absolutely, so you'll see all the inbound tweets like you do today with any Twitter application that you're using. But, but with Nestivity, you can highlight the tweet that inspired you to, to create a discussion around. So if you've ever watched like the evening news or the entertainment news, sometimes they actually show a screen cap of the tweet by a certain celebrity that they, they have a news article around. In that same format, you're taking a tweet from one of your followers that has sent to you, and then you're formally turning it into a discussion. So in that way, your follower feels great because you're, you're saying, hey, your tweet was valuable. Let's have a deeper conversation about it. Yeah. Uh, do photographs or video get displayed in, inside Nestivity? So if I tweet out a YouTube video, would that get uh, displayed inside the community? So as far as rich media, uh, we're gonna, that will work the same way that it works within Twitter. Okay. So if they force you to link out to view the rich media asset, like, like we're gonna Instagram. have- Right, so we're gonna have to follow those best practices because obviously we're using uh, Twitter developer APIs and following their uh, terms of service. Very cool. Anything else I should know about Nestivity? Uh, right now is our beta interest list period at nestivity.com where everyone can go and reserve their handle. And that's very important because by reserving your handle, you're choosing your own URL for your own community come March. Very cool. And tell me a little bit about the company. How was it funded and uh, how many employees are there? We're currently 10 employees based out of Los Angeles, California, and we're privately funded. Very cool. And uh, obviously we find out about it at nestivity.com, right? Yep. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for having me. Thanks for doing this, because it's uh, for, for people like me who have these big followers, it's a lot of fun. Can't wait to hear sort of your success stories after you use it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.